I'm Crypto Pio, you're watching Escape Velocity, and today's video is an artist profile focusing on Micah Drew Johnson, the creator of the Aku the Moon God NFT series. Micah's done several drops on Nifty Gateway, but his most notable thus far is chapter one in a 10 part series focusing on the character Aku, an African American child wearing an astronaut helmet, representing the message that children of color can be whatever they wanna be. Chapter two in the series dropped yesterday, you know I bought it, adding another piece by Micah to my collection. Micah Johnson is a former professional baseball player who had a bit of an unusual foray into the art world. He played 61 Major League Baseball games over the course of three seasons and references playing piano as being an artistic outlet that helped him deal with the pressures of being a professional athlete. In a Forbes article detailing his beginnings as an artist, he references his introduction to painting as being when he attended a paint and sip event. In other words, one of those date night activities where couples go to drink wine and paint a canvas with the help of an instructor. With only that one class under his belt, he had a potentially life-changing meeting with the manager of the Major League Baseball team that he played for at the time, the LA Dodgers. The manager asked him what he liked to do in his free time when he wasn't playing baseball and too embarrassed to tell him the truth, which was playing piano, Micah responded with painting. Surprised by his answer, his manager asked him to paint him a picture of Dodgers legend Maury Wills. He did, and the feedback was good, but Michael wasn't happy with the quality of his work. It seems that these two events sparked a deep interest in painting that Micah began exploring. He stated that he relied early on online resources and YouTube instructional videos to begin developing his technical ability, but quickly realized that those references were more detrimental to his growth versus just trying something and failing. He's quoted as saying, I trust my eyes. I admire everyone that went to art school, but at the same time, I'm going to paint what I really want to. I can't fake it. And in my opinion, this is very present in Micah's work. The character he's created, Aku, is a very original concept and the artwork itself is super, super original. The first chapter of the Aku series, Genesis 1, which I've covered in another video, is a very original piece that blends 3D digital artwork with the physical paintings that Micah has showcased in exhibitions in Los Angeles. Another place where Micah has shown originality is in the structure of his drops. When he introduced the Aku character to the world, it was through a silent auction of 10 physical sculptures with accompanying NFTs. No two sculptures were exactly the same, and the drop had a particularly creative angle. The first Aku sculpture, to be given to the highest bidder, was put into a physical vault to be locked up for two years. Only the current NFT owner after that time period would actually have access to it. Micah has also announced that Chapter 4 of the Aku series will not be available for purchase on the primary market. Owners of Chapter 1, 2, and 3 will receive two mints of Chapter 4 for free. One to sell and one to hold, is what Micah said. I'm not selling mine. From a collector's and investor's perspective, Micah is one of the artists that I'm most bullish on in the NFT space. At this point, he's not necessarily considered a blue chip artist the way some others are, so it's still possible to get access to his work for a relatively reasonable price. We're only two chapters into the Aku series and there's already a community of collectors being built around the work. Micah launched his Aku Discord channel and has started selling Aku merchandise and is encouraging fans and collectors to contribute their own Aku related artwork. When you see artists make efforts to build strong communities around their work and demonstrate the willingness to be very engaging with their collectors and fans, it's generally a very good sign for the long-term value of the work. The message of the Aku series is also one that everyone can get behind. Micah says that Aku began with one question, Mom, can astronauts be black? So what you have here is a series of artwork that is aesthetically beautiful, completely original, and focuses on the message that children of color from all different backgrounds have the power and ability to be anything that they want in the world. Given the fact that chapter one in the Aku series generated over a million dollars in primary sales and has been consistently in the top six most popular list on Nifty Gateway, I predict Micah's stock as an artist and the Aku series as a whole to continue to progress up and to the right. 
especially considering there hasn't been a notable amount of mainstream coverage yet. The character Aku has been commissioned for a motion picture, making it the first NFT to make this leap. My prediction is that as Micah's drops continue to generate millions and the community around Aku continues to grow, you'll see other professional athletes beginning to promote it, and in fact, we're starting to see that already. I genuinely think that at some point, LeBron James, who has demonstrated the willingness to support other athletes and social justice initiatives, will publicly reference Micah or will purchase some of his work himself. The question I asked in the first video where I covered the Aku series was how many million dollar drops is Micah going to have before mainstream media starts giving him coverage? I guess I'll let the collectors decide. I'm Crypto Pio, you're watching Escape Velocity. Please like and subscribe to follow me for live stream coverage of Nifty Gateway Drops, weekly deep dives into specific artists and NFT pieces, and NFT promotional giveaways. Catch you guys next time.